friends good morning welcome to my channel balu master from today onwards i'm going to start target k set 2021 series in this target k set 2021 i'm going to discuss each and every chapter in detail in this target 2021 series i'm going to discuss each and every chapter according to k set point of view what is the importance so how many marks they are going to ask from the particular chapter what kind of questions they are going to ask generally and which kind of areas are the most most important for k set 2021 i need to discuss friends target k set 2021 starts with the most most important chapter and many students having doubt in this particular chapter also the chapter is nothing but integration i selected as the first chapter as integration part 1 so in integration means i hope you know all the types that is what uh, indefinite integration definite integration applications of integration and differential equations so integration chapter is the most most important chapter in kset why because your rank deciding chapter is integration only your rank deciding chapters are integration and vectors and 3d so the rank deciding chapters these two so especially i need to focus more and more on these particular chapters today i'm going to discuss in integration chapter the topic is i'm going to select indefinite integration so friends very very important point from indefinite integration chapter they are going to ask three questions every year every year they are going to ask three questions you don't leave any kind of question if you look into this class if you follow my classes you people can able to attempt any kind of question from integration chapter and also moreover very important point uh, if you observe all the previous year question papers especially from last 2 3 years uh, they are asking the questions from ncrt exemplar book in my channel what i am going to discuss means uh, karnataka previous entrance examination questions along with the exemplar book coming to your first question in indefinite integration first you can able to guess the model that is what the question coming from partial fractions from 2019 and 2022 years continuously they repeated partial fractions concept question partial fractions is almost 80 to 90 percent is important area and also i want to discuss the question with the shortcut and best methods so let us watch the first question friends the question is integral 2x plus 1 by x minus 1 x plus 2 x minus 3 dx is equals to a times of logarithm of x minus 1 b times of logarithm of x plus 2 plus c times of logarithm of x minus 3 plus k then what are the values of a b and c so generally this kind of questions if you want to solve means you people what you will do 2x minus 1 by x minus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 a by b by c by so then taking lcm then cross multiplication cancellation simplification comparing coefficients so then you are going to simplify the values of a b c that is what regular method i am not going to uh, do by using that method let us move to the second method generally what you people will do means uh, so i am going to apply differentiation both sides uh, differentiation means integration differentiation will cancel and you are applying differentiation and comparing of course it is also taking almost 1 minute to 1 and 1/2 minute time so my shortcut method is let us concentrate on abc now your concentration on to find out abc values by using my technique my tip you can able to find out directly the values of abc a is equals to if i want to find out the value of a means logarithm of x minus 1 is there this is nothing but related to x minus 1 so so now if you take x minus 1 is equals to 0 then x is equals to 1 so x is equals to 1 substitute in the remaining values obviously you get the value of a so x is equals to 1 means 2 into 1 minus 1 by 1 plus 2 into 1 minus 3 and a hence 2 minus 1 1 by 3 into minus 2 that is what you are getting minus 1 by 6 so whenever you are getting minus 1 by 6 this is 1 by 6 clearly first option wrong answer in the second or third fourth option also wrong answer let us move to second one so b b means log x plus 2 given you need to take x plus 2 equal to 0 x is equals to minus 2 let us substitute x is equals to minus 2 other than x plus 2 other than x plus 2 that's what you are getting 2 into minus 2 minus 1 by minus 2 minus 1 into minus 2 minus 3 You are getting minus four minus one minus five by minus three into minus 
pi that is what pi pi get cancelled minus minus cancel minus 1 by 3 is your answer of course you are getting the answer from these two this answer is correct because minus 1 by 3 given 1 by 3 is given clearly wrong answer if you need to simplify the point number 3 so c value you want means uh, just c is nothing but log x minus 3 so x minus 3 equal to 0 you consider x is equals to 3 so x equal to 3 you don't substitute here remaining value substitutes are 2 into 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 into 3 plus 2 and hence you are getting 6 minus 1 5 by 2 into 5 5 5 get cancelled you are going to get the answer as 1 by 2 of course 1 by 2 is the correct answer in examination no need to simplify even c also by checking the conditions of a and b you will get the answer okay if you like the shortcut just give a like for me uh, i'll move to second question Yes, friends, coming to next question. This is a question in 2020 given the similar question only in the previous question is 2019 question. This is 2020 question. Okay, same question. I don't want to discuss this question. The same logic you people should apply and check your time. How many seconds you completed and just give the comment in the comment box. Okay, then what is the correct answer and how many seconds you completed? Both you check it and tell me. And also this question, there is a chance to give instead of A comma B comma C, they can ask A plus B plus C or A minus B minus C. That time you need to find out all the three values and if they are asking adding A plus B plus C, you need to do and subtraction means A minus B minus whatever question it is given, you need to simplify and you need to tell in the same way. I hope you will continue this question. I will move to next model. Friends, this is the second area that is what uh, they are going to ask integration by parts. Not only one area, here there are two areas. Uh, they are going to ask the question from integration by parts or they are going to ask the question from integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is equal to e power x into f of x plus c. Of course, that is also by parts only. So, what are the parts? Uh, either by parts question they will give or else they are going to give integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is equals to e power x into f of x plus c. Usually they are going to ask from this area the second question from indefinite integration. So now this question is completely belongs to integration by parts question only. So I need to discuss this by parts question. Afterwards I will give this kind of models also. Let us start the solution friends. Minimum if you solve this question x cube into sin 3x dx means uh, minimum if you want to do by using integral u v dx. Uh, the formula is u integral v dx minus integral d by dx of u into integral v dx whole dx. Uh, if you solve by using that method, if you solve by using that formula, you people will get this kind of questions need to apply 3-4 times uh, the same formula in this particular question. If you want to solve by using the method, minimum it takes 4 to 5 minutes. If you do as fast as possible, it takes minimum 2 to 3 minutes. But my shortcut, if you follow my shortcut, if you follow my shortcut, uh, you people can able to complete this sum within 30 seconds to 40 seconds. So what you are going to do, let us check very clearly. First of all, you need to identify the options. So all options are same. But the difference is the signs only they are changing. Plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, 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 plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus. They are given. Okay. Let us move to the method what you are going to do. First of all, you need to identify the function. What is the derivative function? What is the integration function? So derivative function is equals to x cube. Integration function is equals to sin 3x. How you are going to consider derivative function and different integration function means uh, according to i you can able to do which is the first function that is the u otherwise that is v so here also very easy to decide so which function while applying derivative you are getting zero which function while applying derivative you are getting zero that is what derivative function the other one is integration function okay for example if you apply multiple times derivative sine cos cos sine sine cos cos sine you'll get it it never be zero but if you apply derivative here x cube 3x square 6x zero 6 and then 0. So that's what, uh, so what I'm going to do means here, so derivative function, integrative function, both I'm going to do simultaneously. Derivative and integration. x cube, first write out, let us write out the function x cube, x cube derivative 3x square, 3x square derivative 6x, 6x derivative 6 and constant derivative 0. Let's move. Integration. Sin 3x integration you know very well, first you write down sin 3x. What is the integration of sin 3x? sin x integration minus cos x minus cos 3x by 3 function of function and cos x derivative sin x this minus same as it is carry forward 
this is what by 9339 i am applying integration don't get confused so then sin x integration again minus cos x minus of minus plus cos 3x so 9 into 3 27 then so plus sin x by 27 into 3 81 now what you need to do you know so now the method is you need to multiply these two multiply these two multiply these two then multiply these two if you want to multiply with the next number of course you will get it zero so that's what i'm not continuing this one so this is 3x not continuing further so now what i'm going to do means that, and one more tip is there you need to use here the sign is plus minus plus minus plus so compulsory you need to use this technique why because this is the shortcut that's what plus minus plus minus plus you need to write alternate to plus and minus then you form the equation the equation you are getting so you need to multiply these two plus into minus minus x cube cos 3x by 3 next minus into minus plus 3x square by 9 means 3 3 is a cancel so x square sin 3x by 3 next plus into plus plus then 6 third 27 so 3 2 is a 3 3 is a 2x cos 3x by 9 then minus into plus minus this is 6 this is 81 3 2 is a 3 27 is a so that is what 2 sin 3x by 27 plus c is your answer the combination is minus plus plus minus minus plus plus minus combination is correct fourth option is the correct answer so actually for this question you can able to complete this solution here only why because you can able to guess the solution here only why because if you observe all are same only it is depends on sign so sign check it plus into minus minus which one will start with minus yeah this is clearly wrong answer so next minus into minus plus plus this is plus so third one is wrong answer plus into plus plus this is plus this is minus second one is wrong fourth option is correct answer no need to write this step also in examination quickly we can you can able to write this kind of solution this is also 2019 question only so either this model or else they're going to ask it e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx model let us move to next question now in this second model only this is the other model question e power x into x square tan inverse x plus tan inverse x plus 1 whole by x square plus 1 dx so very easy question whenever e power x is there here almost it is related to f of x plus f dash of x dx model only first of all you need to know the formula e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is equals to the formula is e power x into f of x plus c just to analyze this one e power x into f of x that derivative is need here that time e power x into f of x plus c you can able to write very easily so that's what you can able to simplify this question e power x into i need to take tan inverse x is common from these two then i'm getting tan inverse x into x square plus one by x square plus one plus i'm going to split this one one by x square plus one dx so then almost completed the sum x square plus one will be cancelled here this is equals to integral e power x into tan inverse x plus one by x square plus one dx so and hence what happened the derivative of tan inverse x is equals to 1 by 1 plus x square of course f of x this is f dash of x this is whenever f of x derivatives exist here you can able to write this answer is e power x into f of x that is what tan inverse x plus c this is a very very simplest form so e power x into tan inverse x plus c fourth option is the correct answer we have few more questions in that area this is what into e power x into 1 plus sin x by 1 plus cos x dx this is what integral x plus 3 into e power x to x plus 4 whole square. This is what 2015 question, 2017 question. But this can be written as the same approach only e power x into 1 plus sin x. But you need to simplify, you need to convert it to f of x plus f dash of x model. 1 plus cos x can be written as the formula is 2 cos square x by 2. This is x means x by 2 you will get it, 2x means x will get it into dx. This is what integral e power x into, I am going to split here, 1 by 2 into 1 by cos square x by 2 that is what secant square x by 2 plus what i'm going to write this is x by 2 this is x we cannot able to cancel or simplify anything that's what sin x i'm going to write to 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 what i'm going to write 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 whole by so 2 cos square x by 2 dx 
then what happened? Two two get cancelled. Cos x by two, cos x by two cancelled. You are getting e power x into one by two secant square x by two plus uh, sine by cos remaining tan x by two dx. And hence what happened? E power x into what is f of x here? This is not f of x here. Please keep it in your mind. This is f of x. Why? Because tan x derivative two secant square x x means x by two. Function of function x by two derivative is one by two. That's what f of x is. This f dash of x this this. That's what e power x into f of x plus c e power x into tan x by two plus c is your answer. That is what first option is correct answer. In the similar way, you need to convert this also integral e power x. You keep right down here. Denominator please observe x plus four is there. This is x plus three. That's what uh, numerator is in. also convert as x plus four. Then here it seems what it is there minus three my plus three is there that's what you need to do minus one so whole square is given in the denominator keep right down whole square numerator without whole square you copy so then what you are going to write this is dx integral e power x into so now if you split x plus four by x plus four whole square that is what one by x plus four because one x plus four will be cancelled plus minus one is there that's what minus one by x plus four whole square I'm going to copy here. Then what happened? You get e power x into one by x derivative two minus one by x square e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx. The answer is e power x into one by x plus four plus c. That is what e power x by x plus four. Which option correct? E power x by x plus four. That is what fourth option is correct answer. First two models you people can able to guess the area is one is partial fractions and the second area is by parts and you get e power x into f of x plus f dash of x. dx model then the third part is very dangerous model you cannot able to predict uh, it is coming from which area that's what you are going to learn multiple areas that is what in the next session so i'll stop here um, that's all for today's class